sometimes when Flash is performing a shape tween, it doesn't get all the details right and the animation doesn't look the way that you'd like it to. Fortunately, there are some options. We can give Flash some hints on how to perform the animation that, to make it look more like we're thinking. So uh, here's how this would work. I'm going to have the capital letter A turn into a capital letter B. And so I'll uh, start out by naming my layer. I'll call it A, and then I'll make a little arrow, A to B, like that. Uh, I've got a keyframe here. I'll go out to frame 48, and I'll insert another keyframe with F6. And if you remember the ingredients for a shape tween, you got to have two keyframes. And on both keyframes, you have to have a shape, meaning not a grouped object. So it's a little tricky with text. I'm going to take the text tool, and I'll choose um, I'll choose a font. Uh, let's look for the letter B here, and uh, I'm going to make it fairly large. I think that's large, 60. Uh, okay, and then we'll pick a color. Oh, that's fine for a color. And so I'll just click here in the middle of my stage and um, I'll type in the letter A. Now when I click on this with the selection tool, you can see that it's not a shape. This is a selectable text object. And what that means is I can take the text tool and I can highlight it and I can still make changes. I can put in a different letter or words or whatever. So it's not a shape and it won't work with a shape tween. What you have to do to get this into a shape is to go to the modify menu and choose break apart. And then it becomes a drawing object, basically a grouped object, and uh, I need to break it apart again. So modify, break apart. And the way that you can remember that is, is the shortcut here is apple B. So you have to do it twice, so that's two of them that's plural, it's apple B's. So just think if you have a bunch of text you need to convert, think of the restaurant Applebee's. Or don't, I don't care. But if that helps you, great. All right, so here's the shape, capital A. Uh, I'm gonna go down to the end here, um, this keyframe, and I'm going to insert a new shape. And this shape will be capital B. And like we talked about, this is not a shape, so I need to go Apple B, Apple B. And now it is a shape. So I've got a shape here and a shape here. It's not quite lined up very well. Let me move that over there. A little better. Okay, so what I want to do now is, is a shape tween these two. So I'm going to right click or control click anywhere in between those two and, and choose create shape tween. And there we have it. Okay. Now maybe that's not exactly what I wanted. I, I think that looks kind of cool actually, but maybe that's not what we wanted. Let me zoom in quite a bit. Let's take a look at this. Okay, that's actually pretty smooth, but what we can see here is if you watch this little corner right here, this kind of comes down and turns into part of the foot right there. And maybe that's not what I'd like. Maybe I'd like the um, I'd like it to end up over here somewhere. So Flash has the option to create what's called shape tween or shape hints. Sorry, to insert a shape hint, we'll go to the modify menu, go to shape, and choose add shape hint. You can also use Shift Apple H. And what that does is it inserts this little dot with a lowercase a on it. There's a corresponding dot on the end shape. And what we want to do is tell Flash um, this point needs to end up over here. So how do we do that? Well, we take the A and we can move it around. It needs to be on a corner or a point for it to, uh, to work well, uh, a corner or a, an edge. So let's take the bottom corner of that center piece of the A there. We'll go to the letter B and we'll say that that part needs to end up right there. And it turns green to indicate Flash saying, okay, I got it. I know what you want. Let's see what that does. Okay, in that case, I think it made it worse. <laughs> and that sometimes happens with shape hints. Sometimes it just doesn't look very good. Um, let's try 
taking this spot here and lining that up with this spot right there and let's see what that does. That's kind of back to where it was so. Um, another thing we might try is making sure that the uh, let's add another shape hint. Let's go uh, modify shape, add shape hint and let's put this one on this bottom left corner and notice it's a different letter now. This is the lowercase b and it'll just run through the whole alphabet depending on how many shape hints you put in. I'm going to match it with that corner and see if that keeps us kind of steady. Okay, that one worked good. It, it helped that corner a bit. I'm going to insert another one. Shift Apple H. And this one is the letter C. We'll move that to right uh, here. And we'll go down to the end and we'll make sure that the, it ends up right about there. Okay, so I've just added a little bit more control over the animation, telling it where to go and where to end up. Um, sometimes adding too many shape hints causes more problems than it solves, and so you got to be careful. Usually one or two is good enough on the key points that are difficult. If I need to remove these, I can right-click or control-click on them and choose Remove Hint or Remove All Hints, and that'll get rid of the whole thing, and we'll be back to where we started.